Sarah embarks on a journey through the enchanted forest, discovering mystical creatures and hidden pathways. As Sarah explores deeper into the forest, ancient trees come to life, sharing their wisdom with her. In today's video, we'll learn how to create animated stories using AI for a complete animated video, we'll use a new tool that changes text and pictures into videos, just like the example you saw at the start of the video or the one you're watching now. A talented designer used the same tool to create something special, and on this channel, we're more than just explaining things, we want to show you the whole process, step by step, by using different tools together to get the best results. Make sure that if you use the technique I'm about to show you, you can make your own channel without showing your face or recording your voice, and don't worry, this will earn you a good income. You're free to come up with your own creative ideas at the beginning, we hope you'll support us by liking, subscribing, and sharing, as it helps us keep making better content, let's start the video and talk about what we're going to cover today. The tool we're going to use to turn the text into a video is called Pika Labs. I've left the link to this tool in the description. Try to follow me closely until the end. It will give you ideas for creating other content like this. To have an account on Pika Labs, you first need to create an account on Discord. If you don't know how, search on YouTube and you'll find plenty of videos about it. Then come back here and click on Accept Invite. You'll land on this page. Scroll down and you can choose any Generate option. For me, I'll go with Generate 2. What you're seeing are examples of videos created by other people like you. You can get ideas for making your own videos. The issue you might face is that every time you type your text to convert it into a video, it gets mixed in with competitor videos, taking time to find yours. To avoid this and prevent others from seeing your video, click on the Pika Labs icon, type hi, and a window will appear that only shows your videos. Now, let's do a little practice. I'll leave you this file in the description box. This example is about an old man walking down the street. Let's see what it will give us. If you're not satisfied with the result, click here as many times as needed until you get the desired outcome. Now, we've finished our practice, and we're moving on to the important phase of asking ChatGPT to generate story prompts for us. But before we do that, let's first program ChatGPT by giving it this script. Follow me until the end of this tutorial. ChatGPT will let us know when it's ready. Then, we go back to our file to copy the second prompt. This one is a script to ask ChatGPT to provide us with 10 prompts for a story about the adventure story of Sarah in the Enchanted. Simply copy and paste it into ChatGPT. Once you've done that, ChatGPT will begin generating the 10 prompts. When it's done, copy from this part and go to a site called Playground AI. It's similar to Leonardo AI and Midjourney. Its role is to create images based solely on text. It's also an artificial intelligence tool. Paste the text here, then click on Generate. Once it's finished, download the photo. To turn this photo into a video using Pika Labs, go back to ChatGPT and copy the first prompt. Then paste it on the Pika Labs, click inside the prompt, and choose Image. Select the photo that we just downloaded. Press the Enter key on the keyboard. Pika Labs will provide us with videos that are only 3 seconds long. We need to create 3 videos for each prompt. Download this video. Now, let's move on to another website called Final Frame to capture the last frame of the video. We'll use this image to ask Pika Labs to create another video, but this time, you'll start the video from this part. Download the photo that represents the final frame. Now, let's go back to ChatGPT and copy the first prompt. Paste it onto Pika Labs, but this time use it as an image for the final frame of the previous video. The idea is to create three videos for each prompt, following the same process I demonstrated for the prompts. When you're done, number your videos to distinguish one from another. 
Now that we finished creating the videos, let's move on to creating the voiceover. We'll convert the text of each prompt into speech. This time we'll use a website called Clipchamp. It's free, with no limits, you can create as many audio files as you want. To do this, click on Record and Create, then select Text to Speech. Go back to ChatGPT and paste only this part of the story. Paste it here, then you can choose the voice you want. For me, I'll choose Jenny, and as the voice style, I'll select Hopeful. I won't change anything for the other options. Then, click on Preview to see how it sounds. Sarah embarks on a journey through the enchanted forest, discovering mystical creatures and hidden pathways. Then click on Save to Media. Once it's done, drag the audio onto the timeline. Next, add the text for the second prompt. Repeat the same process for the other prompts. For me, I'm going to create only four prompts to keep the video shorter, but you can create a longer video that reaches up to eight minutes, or you can create videos for YouTube Shorts. After that, add the videos to Clipchamp. Remember, we created three videos for each prompt, so we'll add three videos to each audio. Try to enlarge the videos to hide the Pika Labs name. Do it like I'm doing. Once you're done, click play to see the result. Sarah embarks on a journey through the enchanted forest, discovering mystical creatures and hidden pathways. As Sarah explores deeper into the forest, ancient trees come. If you're satisfied with the video, click export to download it. Now, there's only one step left. This time, we'll use CapCut, which is free. We'll use it to add subtitles to the video. Download and install the program, then add the video to CapCut. To add subtitles, click on Text, then Audio Caption. Check Clear Current Subtitle, and finally, click Create. CapCut will automatically generate subtitles for the video. To apply styles to the subtitles, select all the subtitles, go to Text, change the writing style to Aroma, check Stroke, increase the thickness, and apply the background. Reduce the opacity, increase the height and width, and increase the rounded rectangle. Finally, export the video, and there you have it, our final video. Sarah embarks on a journey through the enchanted forest, discovering mystical creatures and hidden pathways. As Sarah explores deeper into the forest, ancient trees come to life, sharing their wisdom with her. Sarah encounters a mischievous talking fox who becomes her guide and companion on her quest. In a clearing, Sarah discovers a portal to another realm within the enchanted forest, sparking curiosity and danger. 